Hello Bros, welcome back to the channel. This time it's actually me, not, um, didn't, uh, what is it called in English, man, fuck. I didn't uh, pre-record the videos. Today is actually like the 29th. And I just got back from a class trip. I've lost some valuable things which I'm really grateful for. And I told you about it and basically found out that all the people in my class, basically all my, uh, in my in the same age group as me, in 10th grade, they're all fucking retards, except a few people. Like, there's like a handful of people that are actually not retarded and don't do shit. But the others are just all fucking retarded. They just wanna fuck around, have fun, take drugs, and do nothing productive. I, I thought some people are my friends. Found out they are not. They were talking shit behind my back. They were making fun of me for liking a girl in class and there was this one friend, he said, I would rather fuck an 11 year old than this girl that you're interested in. In front of everyone, everyone's making fun of you, how can you like her? What happened? Three or four days ago, on the class trip. They did something with each other. I'm not gonna explain what they did, but they had a close moment. <laughs> That's the same guy that I thought is my friend. The top. And shit to me, to everyone else, that I like this girl. And said he would rather fuck an 11 year old than doing something with that girl. <laughs> Pretty shit, right? And then this fucking girl comes to me and cries about another guy. Even though she she knows I like him. I like her. What the fuck? If I if I was like I reverse the roles, like if, if I'm crying about a girl, then I, I the last thing I would do is go to another girl that I don't that likes me to try to calm myself down. What the fuck is that shit? So unmature. Um, and most people don't even like, I talked about this before in the video, no, we, are no, we are weird to normal people, but most people don't even consider self-improvement, they don't even know about it. They don't know what else to do besides drinking, taking drugs and going partying and fucking around. They don't know anything else because this whole fucking world is just presenting this way of living. It's like a really small percentage that just focus on self-improvement. It's inside of this bubble. It's so, so, so small. And the, the majority, like 99% of people are just fucking around, doing fuck all. That makes it okay for for them to be like that, for them to be degenerates and make their life get worse in the long run. Because we all know when the self-improvement, your life is going to get better over the long run. Even if you're, the only thing you're doing is working out. You know you're going to get muscle, you know you're going to look better in the future. The time is running with you. If you're constantly taking drugs, constantly partying, constantly eating junk food, constantly watching TikTok, constantly fucking your brain up, you will get worse mental health, you will feel worse. Life will get worse, your body will get worse, your mind will get worse. But they don't seem to see that, they only see this fucking big instant gratification thing. Then they get the hit and they fall down, and then they get another hit, fall down again. They don't see a self improvement, they don't see delay gratification. They've never heard these terms in their fucking life. And I don't want to be friends with guys like that. I thought it would be fun to, to sometimes go partying with the girls. Because they look like kinda nice and like I, I would like to fuck them or get it closer to them. Not worth it at all, bro. They're literally just fucking around. They could never be in a serious relationship. Also, we went to a club. Met, met a girl at the club. Uh, she was looking at me, I approached her. <clears throat> and yeah, no, I got a number, we danced, danced a bit sexual, like, cuddly and, like, sexual dancing. Uh, yeah, I got a number, we're writing now, she's literally just, like, the biggest red flag I've ever met, to be honest. She's just, she's just saying that she just takes drugs and does nothing and has depression and she doesn't get her pills, so she's going, she's going badly crying right now and her parents are toxic as fuck. Like, bro, what the fuck? Where are the normal people? Why can't I find beautiful girl close to me that is high value with good parents takes no drugs is beautiful is studying is knows how to take care knows how to love 
no mental, like if there are some mental issues, I'm, I'm fine with that, I want to help them, stuff, but why, why do all of depression and anxiety cause their wrist, like what the fuck? Okay, so because the camera was running out in 9 seconds, I just wanted to say, it also something that I've found in the class trip, make sure to subscribe to me, call just follow on Instagram, see you in the next video. I just double tap this motherfucking shit, let's go!